What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to let you guys know before I get into this video that I created a new Instagram. I have quite a few Instagrams, one for my makeup artist business, one for my keto eating, and then I wanted to make a new one that was just for me. I was posting a lot on my makeup artist business page, kind of like my selfies and things, but I just wanted to make one that was dedicated only towards me. So if you guys would like to follow me on there, my new Instagram is at Rochelle underscore Spear. And I would really, really appreciate it. I don't have that many followers since it's brand new, so I would absolutely love it if you guys give me a follow. All right, let's get on into this video. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am just going to show you all of the clothes that I got in Las Vegas. For those of you guys that don't know, I recently went to Las Vegas on vacation. And while I was there, I did a bunch of shopping. In part one of this video, I showed you guys everything that I bought that was like beauty related. Um, I got a lot of makeup and things like that. So if you guys haven't seen that, I will link it in the eye up here. Um, but for the second part, I just kind of wanted to go over everything that was like accessories and clothing that I got while I was there. Cause like I said, I did do a ton of shopping. So first I'm just gonna start off with this little guy. It is just a necklace. I picked it up at Forever 21. And it's super cute and dainty. It just has like these little coins on there that are really tiny and they kind of dangle. It is a little bit tighter on the neckline. So it's kind of like, not a choker, but just like a little bit lower on the neck. And I really like it. It was like three bucks or something. And I like it so much, I wish I would have gotten a second one just in case I like lose this one or it tarnishes really quickly, which it probably will. I do like the really dainty little gold necklaces to kind of layer. Just I, I really think that trend is cute. And so I got that little guy. And then throughout the week, I did end up buying three different pairs of sunglasses. I didn't really mean to, it just kind of happened. Um, I like really affordable sunglasses just because I'm very hard on sunglasses and I lose them, things like that. So I like to buy affordable sunglasses. So the first ones I picked up were these aviators. They are just like a tortoise brown with a brown lens that's kind of like gradient. And I got them at Ross for $5. If you guys like affordable sunglasses and you don't look at Ross, I swear I find a good pair of sunglasses almost every time I go to a Ross. So if you aren't looking there, you should be because these are really nice and they were only five bucks. They just look like this. I like that they're really big just in case I didn't wear any makeup and I wanted to kind of like hide my face. I do like the aviator kind of style with the flat top. And yeah, I thought they were really cute. The next ones I found were these round ones. Sorry, you guys can see the reflection of my lights in my glasses, but there's not much I can do about that. Um, they are just these little round guys that I got at H&M. I believe that they were like $9 or something, and I thought they were really cute. I was really skeptical of this round glasses kind of look, um, but it's kind of grown on me, and I actually do kind of like them. I do look a little ridiculous in them, but I do think they're cute, especially for under $10. And yeah, I thought I'd pick them up. I like the size of them. They're not too small, but they're also not too big. And I thought they were cute. So I got those. And then the last pair of glasses I got were these little guys. These are super sassy. They are kind of like a smaller square frame that kind of like flare out on the edges with the brown tortoise and like brown lens. They look like this on. These again are really like funny and sassy, but I feel like for the right outfit, they could be really cute. And I really like them. I got these ones at Forever 21. And I believe that these were like six bucks or something, six or seven bucks. And the last thing that I got that was sunglass related is this little guy. This is a sunglass holder in snake print. I don't know about you guys, but I have been absolutely obsessed with everything snake print this season. I've noticed a lot of boots, which I have a pair of boots, uh, body con, um, what are they called? Uh, onesie, one piece, snake skin, long sleeves, dresses. I am digging the snake skin trend. Um, so I decided to pick up this little guy. This is from Key Australia. They had a key store in the Miracle Mile shops that I went to and I just really liked it. I thought it was cute and I could never get too many sunglass holders. So I picked that little guy up. 
All right, the next thing I will go over is just kind of all the bottoms that I got. I went to Forever 21, which were in the fashion show mall, which is like a huge mall. It has like three different stories. Um, and I spent a full day there and they have the biggest Forever 21 ever. It was gigantic. Everett was like overwhelmed with how large it was. He couldn't find me. I got lost in there multiple times. <laughs> Um, anyways, so I picked up a few skirts. I have been really into skirts this fall season and they have a lot of really cute corduroy and velvet skirts. So the first one I picked up was this little guy. It is just kind of like an olive army green skirt and it is kind of just like a soft fuzzy material. I really like this color for fall and I thought it would be really cute with like a pair of leggings and a sweater and booties or anything like that. While I was in Vegas, it was very warm and so I could wear skirts even at night. Um, but back at home here in Northern California, it is a little bit more chilly. So I'll probably only be wearing these with tights um, but yeah, I thought that was super cute and it was $15.90. So that was a good price. And then I also got this skirt. It is just a black corduroy skirt. I don't know if you guys have seen all of the corduroy that has been out lately, but I have definitely been digging it. There's so many cute things and I don't know. I just have been into the corduroy and I'm glad that it's back. So I got this one. It is, um... It's not super short and it does come up a little bit high-waisted and it has this super cute little um, round zipper and this was $20. I really, really like it. And then I also got this one, which is like a burnt orange color. I am absolutely obsessed with this color this season. This and that like dark mustard color are so pretty. I already have worn the skirt and I really like it. Again, it just kind of like hits higher on the waist. It has this cute little circular piece here on the zipper. And yeah, I really like it. I also got this guy at Forever 21 and I think it was 20 bucks. Then I got a pair of jeans at H&M. Clearly, I've already worn these. They are all wrinkly. I actually wore them the entire week I was in Las Vegas. I have never gotten a pair of jeans from H&M, but they have a lot of really cute styles. Unfortunately, they didn't have that many that were in my size. I am a size two, and these are a little big on me, and I couldn't find any zeros. Like, I don't know if they don't make zeros and then they make twos or what, but this is the smallest pair I could find. I'm pretty sure these are a boyfriend fit or let's see. They're just kind of like a medium wash. They have these holes on both sides of the knees and then they're kind of like skinnier at the bottom and I just rolled them up because I am short. I'm five two, so I had to roll them up. They're really soft and um, like loose and comfortable. So they're not like really restricting and I liked that. And then I got a few sweaters. I've already hung these up on hangers here. This one is from TJ Maxx. I went to a TJ Maxx that was off the strip one of the days and found this guy. I really liked the color of it just because it is kind of like a frosted kind of like cranberry color. I don't normally wear really, really bright colors. I've been venturing out a little bit, but um, yeah, I loved the color of this. I liked that it's open on each side. It is that like vel velvety material. I don't know what, what is this material called? Someone comment below what this material is called. I have no idea. It's like that soft, is it velvet? I don't know. And then it has this cute little like crisscrossy design down the back. Okay, so yeah, that was cute. I like that. Then I got this guy. This is just like a honey mustard colored sweater. It is the same style with that open front, except for this one has two little pockets here on each side. I thought it'd be cute with leggings or, you know, just kind of like a casual sweater outfit. And then the last one again is this material that I don't know what it's called. This one is much more off the shoulder and wide necked. And it is almost like a grayish beige kind of color. It is really an interesting color and it is super soft. It is really long. And so it just kind of like slouches off the shoulder on one side when I wear it. And I really like it. And yeah, it's super cozy. I'm really digging this material. It is so soft. So that is that. And then I saved the best for last, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Hold on, let me go get them. Drum roll, please. Ba -ba! Look at these. 
These are boots from Chinese Laundry. I was walking by in the Miracle Mile shops and every time I walked by, these were in the window and I kept looking at them and I tell every, oh God, I love those boots. Every time I'd see them, I would just obsess over them. They are black booties that have a pointed toe here and like little studs on the edges. They have a block heel. And again, this cute little round zipper trend that is going on. And I don't normally like to spend a lot of money on shoes. I'm just not that kind of girl. I would rather have like 10 pairs of cheap shoes than one pair of expensive shoes. But there was something about these shoes that I couldn't get enough of. And like I said, I kept telling Everett every time we'd walk by how much I love them. I even tried to look up online on like gojane.com and cupid and a bunch of different other shoe stores that i know make similar kind of styles to this and i tried to find something similar but i couldn't i found something that was like the front of it but it had the tiny stiletto heel and i can't wear boots like that they're just they're just too hard to walk in i need a thick chunky heel and so i couldn't find any dupes for these boots by the end of the trip Everett said, I know you really love those and I wanna get you something special. So if there's something that you absolutely love and you're obsessed with, then I think you should get them. And I was just over the moon. It was so sweet of him. He didn't have to do that. And I would have never splurged and spent the money on these that he did. And so I was really excited and I am obsessed. So am I the only weird one that just like obsessively looks at the things that I love and don't actually ever use them? <laughs> I don't know. All right, you guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this Las Vegas fashion haul for fall time. Let me know if you're digging any of the trends that I am, the snake skin, the corduroy, the small round beetle sunglasses. Let me know what you guys are liking. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I am... <clears throat> battery dead no and then I got a few sweat and then blah. <laughs> and then I thought <laughs> okay I'm obviously liking all those kind of okay